Hi, this is Nojan Mashiri, Solution Architect with F5 Networks. Today, I'm going to talk briefly on a whiteboard here about the Guardium and F5 solution, and then we'll sit down at the computer and do a live demo. So today I'm here to talk about our local traffic manager plus ASM integration with IBM's Guardium solution. As you can see here, I've drawn a two or three tier application server environment with a client connecting over the internet through local traffic manager down to an app server and the demonstration I'm going to show we're using an e-commerce store. Now these app servers use a database and the whole thing is running through high availability solutions at the LTM tier as well as the database tier. The solution is all about security. We're concerned with correlating client information with what's going on on the database to achieve defense in depth, introspection through the entire stack. So what would we have to do today? We can have each of these app servers send all of their log info over to our SIM. All the databases send their data to the SIM. And then an administrator can come down and configure reports to pull that data out. What we've done with IBM and F5 is create a real-time integration between LTM and Guardium. Guardium's integration with the database, in this case DB2, but it could be Oracle, it could be MySQL, um, any database that Guardium supports, brings real-time correlation between the front-end information and the back-end information. F5 sends the information down to Guardium, Guardium is getting the information from DB2 and the app servers, and now you have real-time information about the user's actions on the database. Let's go sit down on the computer, and I'll show you how this works. Hi, so here we are at the computer. Let's take a look at a brief network diagram, and then we'll look at some of the actual configuration. Now, in this diagram, you can see the flow of clients coming in at my left over to the local traffic manager running also the application security manager at number two here. Now at number three we have our uh, WebSphere commerce servers in the case of this demo in the case of the diagram uh, Maximo Asset Management. Um, in either case any application server that can be fronted with uh, Big IP will be able to use this solution. Now Big IP is sending in real time the context and user information over to Guardium. Guardium is getting all of the context and real-time information from the database, in the case of this demonstration, DB2, and Guardium is aggregating all of that together. Also, worth of pointing out, uh, this solution does not uh, you know, deprecate a need for a SIM. Uh, a SIM can be used as well. It's just that by deploying this solution, we're taking a lot of the configuration complexity out of the solution. We don't have to configure every single SIM. Instead, we can get that at the front end, big IP where all of the traffic is coming into the network. So let's take a look at the, the demonstration site I've set up. This is the WebSphere e-commerce running the uh, Madison's store. It uses a backend DB2 database. I'm going to log in with a user that I set up earlier. And let's take a look at some, uh, let's do some activities on the site to generate some database requests. So we'll look at this chef's walk. And I could be clicking around here. Now, if I'm a bad actor, uh, ASM is going to be taking actions to block me. Guardian can also be programmed to take actions to block me. So the defense in depth is already in play at this point as I'm going through the site. So go ahead and sign out. And let's just take a look at the Big IP configuration. On the Big IP end, I have set up a virtual, as you can see in the network map here, uh, pretty straightforward. This 10.0.1.40.52 is my application server. And I've got a number of other services running on here. On Application Security Manager, the Madison store is running in a protected mode. You can see here um, all of the policy has been applied to that same virtual. And what we've added in this release is the database firewall tab. As I drill in there, we are in, it's enabled and we are forwarding information to Guardium, which is defined within this policy. 
So let's take a look at Guardium. I'm going to log into the Guardium interface. I'm logging in as uh, admin in this case. You would probably be logging in as a user. And let's take a look at the system view here. We can see five tabs. I've got two active for the purpose of this demonstration. The big IP that I just showed you, and then the WebSphere Commerce server, that host that is running the actual uh, application server. Let's jump into a report. And I'm going to come to this uh, full SQL report that we developed earlier. Let's jump to the current time. And this is where um, all of the information comes out. So you can see the uh, the address, the, the name of the host, of course, the address of the host, the type of database that's running, um, lots of information, again, fully customizable. And then over here, the last two columns, um, really the big payload for us, the name of the user, the user's IP address, this is the client IP address, also the virtual IP address, and then the name of the virtual on the big IP, as well as the complete SQL uh, that the user uh, executed for each call. So now if the user has been doing forceful browsing or SQL injection, um, trying to do anything that's going to be subverting uh, the security of the site, all of that is captured uh, here in real time along with the user that executed that SQL command. So of course, uh, action can be taken appropriately. So let's just, for the sake of demonstration purposes, we'll uh, log in as a different user. I've set up another user, David. So let's log in and take a look at some tableware. And let's say David is interested in a silverware set. All right, well, good enough. So we'll go ahead and sign out. And let's jump back into Guardium now. We'll rerun this report. And sometimes it takes I'm clicking to get the order in the right fashion here. There we go. So now we can see David's requests at the top of the list here. And again, the server information may be different if we're running in a high availability, uh, you know, which actual host was he connected to. Of course, the client was the same. I used the same uh, client machine. But you can see, uh, again, the full SQL all of the statements that uh, David generated, as you can see, uh, quite a few. And then these were back to my Nojan users uh, statements down here. So a wealth of information uh, brought to you with a real-time link between F5 and IBM. Uh, the deployment guide is linked at the end of this video. I hope you found this useful, and I'll look forward to answering your questions uh, if you have them. Thanks.